Okay, so this is part seven of the G4 conversion project. And as you can see, we have our nice big giant piece of custom made acrylic. And that over there is going to be permanently attached to the acrylic. But what I have to do first is I just got all the protective plastic uh, paper off of it. And that takes <laughs> quite a bit of uh, effort to get that off. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to take a microfiber cloth, a little bit of alcohol, and there's just a few little pieces of adhesive still stuck on it. So we're going to get it all cleaned up and we'll be right back. Okay, so we got the acrylic uh, back panel all cleaned off. Um, I've temporarily sat this down on there and I'm just kind of positioning things. And then what I got to do is we have to make sure that we have this in the right spot so we can put this bracket down on here too. So it's a matter of getting the uh, keyboard cable where it needs to go. So I have the keyboard right here and it will plug in here. So what I want to do is I want to make sure that I have enough uh, cable so when I uh, open and close this thing, it won't be unplugged. So the keyboard, and we have plenty of uh, cabling on here. So that's going to go in there like that. And then the other one's going to go down like that. So what I want to make sure is when I flip this up like this, we have enough cable. Oops. I gotta be real careful here so I don't break anything. So right there, that looks pretty good there. So then as it hinges, go lay down on there, go roll up back on like that. So it should look pretty good, right about there. So it's getting about halfway up on the fans there. So that'll be like this. Yeah, real like. Okay, so we got the hinge attached to the keyboard here. Right there, that's all attached to it. Uh, this is what it looks like from the operator side. So that'll be kind of like that when you're using it. And that'll be when it's stowed all the way up like that. And it rotates really good. It looks nice and clean. It's stuck on there pretty good. I will do a little mod on the back of this thing just to ensure that it does not come off, but it looks pretty good. And of course, you have those squeakies on there too, which is okay. We, uh, we have a fix for that. But anyway, so this is all done on that. And so now what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, take and get this positioned and mounted permanently on the acrylic here. And once we get this done, then we will attach the bracket for the keyboard. And then after that, then we'll mount the monitor. So let's get this thing all ready to mount on here. Okay, so we're gonna get ready to glue this down. I just got a couple little markers here on it to kind of orient it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna rotate this. We're gonna put glue on all the standoff. Then we'll rotate it back over. And then we're gonna set it down and just kind of push it down. And once it's down, it's permanent. So what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, take and flip this over here. And we're going to uh, kind of sit this on the box here. Let's see here, there we go. Just gonna kind of balance it on here because I don't want to lay this really down on the acrylic here. And like I said, I got to uh, put the glue on all these uh, standoffs here. And then when we're done with that, then we will 
get it all mounted up. So we're going to use the uh, fine tip on here. And we don't have very long work time, so I have to kind of go at this pretty quick here. Just put glue on all of them here. And I'm doing it this way, it's a little less messier. Flip this over. There we go. All right. Make sure that's on there just like that. Make sure this board's down here. That looks pretty, pretty even there. Yep, good. All right, so we're just gonna let this sit for a little bit here. I'm just making sure everything is pushed down on it. This already has a totally different feel on it already. There's no uh, give on it, which that's what I want because we do not want this thing coming loose. Okay, so yeah, this is uh, attached pretty good now. Uh, we're gonna let it sit overnight just to make sure, you know, it's very cold out here in the garage. So things kind of dry a little slower. But what we're gonna do now is we're going to actually uh, mount the uh, keyboard on here. And speaking of uh, keyboards, um, this one's in pretty good shape. And like I said, it uh, it bonded to it pretty darn good there. That adhesive is amazing stuff. It really, that stuff is like, <laughs> it's amazing how well it works. But anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to orient this. And it's going to be kind of like about right here in this area. That way we have plenty of room for our ribbon cable. So when it's open, it won't come unplugged. So I'm thinking right about here is where it's gonna go, which is fine. Then when we're using this, uh, it'll go up like that. It'd be pretty cool. So yeah, so we're just gonna get this all uh, glued up here. And that way we can let this sit overnight as well. And then uh, the next thing will be, then we'll get the uh, screen in position, get it mounted, and then we can finish running the wires. And then we're gonna work on the uh, putting some lights in this thing so it'll light up. I think it's going to look pretty cool when it's all done. So yeah. And that's pretty, uh, that's actually pretty uh, solid there. I'm very happy how that turned out. So we're going to start gluing this up here. And also, uh, I'm going to uh, go to uh, somebody that knows how to make parts for certain things. Actually, I'm going to have them make some parts for me on this because when this is up, I need a little little rods here, but I want some fancy ones here, fancy brackets here, and that way we can flip them out of the way when this goes down. And uh, that's going to be our channel sponsor, which is PCB Way. And uh, they can do things like this for you. And they offer a variety of services like PCB prototyping, PCB assembly, flex rigid flex PCB, CNC machining, 3D printing, offering you the best value, fast turnaround, one-on-one -on -one assistance, truly a one-stop solution for PCB and assembly. So go to PCBWay.com and see what they can do for you. So give them a try. They do some amazing things. I actually got some things ordered from them. I'll be showing it on my channel here, not too much in the future, but yeah. So we're going to get ready to glue this up here. And again, it's kind of a, a one shot deal. We get one, one time to do it. And if we don't do it right, then we're going to be in big trouble. So 
We're going to put some glue on these uh, standoffs here. And I'll show you. Basically, uh, it kind of goes like this here. So we're just going to put some glue on here like so. Like that. We want, uh, and again, we want enough to where we're going to get good coverage. And I'll do the other one here. Do that off camera here. And like I said, if it runs out just a little bit, that is fine. I just want it to make a good mechanical connection. Because that way, we don't have to worry about it coming apart. All right, that is more than enough. You know, like I said, it's got to ooze out a little bit, but that's fine. Okay, so we'll uh, get it in position here. There we go. All right. And I get one time to do this, so I don't want to goof it up here. But now it's going to start looking like something here. Like I said, when we get the screen on it, it's going to start really looking pretty good. And then, like I said, I've got kind of a pretty good idea of what kind of lighting I'm going to put on it. That's almost, that's almost sticking. There we go. Now it's starting to, now it's starting to set up. Usually this stuff in the proper temperature, that's this G50 glue. Um, usually about 10 seconds, it's already, it's already setting up. You know, I, I told you that the back panel was going to be frosted. Well, it didn't get frosted. They missed that part in the step, but that's all right. We'll, uh, we'll work with it. This took me a couple weeks to get it when I ordered it. But other than that, they did a pretty darn nice job. It's got the rounded edges on it. Yeah. Now this uh, this plastic on this is actually uh, three eighths of an inch thick, and the reason why I want that thick is because I don't want any torquing on it. I want it to be very solid, because if this thing is torquing, it could always possibly break things loose, and we don't want that. Yeah, it's it's, it's stuck. So yeah, so we just gotta let this whole thing set overnight. And like I said, cool. Now, there we go, look at that. That's gonna be, that is gonna be awesome. And then I'll be able to hook up, uh, hook up the ribbon cables there pretty soon. But yeah, see so now that'll fit on there, just like it is, it'll have plenty of room. Of course, when it closes, then it'll slack up. But yeah, very cool. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, rotate this here very carefully. And let me just uh, move it here. I put it on this uh, foam pad to uh, minimize uh, scratching and stuff on it. So this is going to stay here, right there, there we go, yeah, pretty neat, huh, I like it, very cool, and you'll see how it hinges up there, like that, up like that, down like that. Very neat. And then, it, like I said, it'll be a when it's up like this. This is a pretty. This is a pretty beefy piece of framework. But when we get the uh, the side supports on it, that'll hold it up. It'll uh, be real rigid. But yeah, I think it's pretty, turned out pretty good. So yeah. It's amazing what you can do with acrylic. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cover this up to keep the dust off of it. 
and we're going to uh, continue this in the next segment of the video. Stay tuned for part eight. Please like and subscribe and click that notification bell. I really appreciate it. We're on Mastodon, we're on Twitter, we're on MeWe, we're also on, besides YouTube, we're on Odyssey and Rumble. So until next time, have a great new year and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.